A piece of railroad history. Stuck in time, standing still, waiting for either the forces of Mother Nature to tear it down or the technology of man to keep it standing tall and proud. This is the Great Goat Canyon Trestle, and it's a part of the historical San Diego and Arizona Eastern Railway, nicknamed the Impossible Railroad. Goat Canyon Trestle, the last railroad bridge, is about the history of a once sleepy little border town called San Diego, and John D. Spreckel's vision of making the San Diego and Arizona Eastern Railway a reality. It's about the back-breaking hardship of native and foreign laborers that struggled and sometimes died building the line. It's the story about big-time corporate politics and the monopolies that once powerful railroad barons controlled. And finally, it's about the death and resurrection of the once glorious era of the steam locomotive. In 1906, Spreckles formed the San Diego and Arizona Railway Company. A 148-mile line between San Diego and El Centro was planned. Groundbreaking ceremonies were held on September 7, 1907. Workers of various backgrounds and nationalities helped lay steel from San Diego to El Centro. On November 15, 1919, the Impossible Railroad was finally completed with John D. Spreckles driving in the ceremonial Golden Spike. It has been decades since the last train rolled over these rails. The San Diego and Arizona served San Diego and the Imperial Valley for years after its completion. Troubles such as tunnel cave-ins, acts of arson, and natural disasters constantly plagued the line culminating in the destruction of the track at the Corizo Gorge by a rock slide on March 27, 1932. For two months, service was stopped while construction was being done on the Goat Canyon trestle. And it's, it's really a masterpiece of, of engineering. And of course, the wooden uh, bridge there in, in the gorge is a very, very spectacular bridge. Uh, I never heard it called the Goat Canyon trestle until I started work on a museum. Uh, when I was railroading, it was just the, the high bridge. The trestle was completed on June 6, 1932. It towers over the Carrizo Gorge at 103 feet with a 15-degree curvature, making it the only one of its kind in North America. In 1976, history repeated itself. Hurricane Kathleen destroyed other bridges and major sections of the track on the desert line. Numerous rock slides and tunnel cave-ins once again forced the closure of the impossible railroad. Today, efforts are underway to reopen the line for freight and passenger service. The Pacific Southwest Railway Museum currently uses 16 miles of the railroad from Campo to Miller Creek and offers passengers rides on the original San Diego and Arizona cars. All proceeds from these excursions go to the restoration projects at the museum. One major project, the restoration of engine number 104, one of the original San Diego and Arizona steam locomotives, is scheduled for completion in December 1994. John D. Spreckel's original business car, named the Carrizo Gorge, is also being restored under the supervision of longtime museum member Jeannie Jones. Only time will tell if old number 104 and the Spreckles Carrizo Gorge car will ever again ride the rails of the Goat Canyon Trestle or the rest of San Diego's historic Impossible Railroad. For more information on how you can help keep the history of our heritage alive, please contact the San Diego Railroad Museum at area code 619-595-3030.